name's Louise and I am the owner of Mrs J's Kitchen. Today we're here at the city of Melton to teach you uh, fun arts and crafts with kids and of course we'll be using food. So we're going to start off today, we are going to uh, make a snail out of some celery and cream cheese and we'll um, add a few little bits and pieces to make it really look pretty. Um, the first point is with the celery and when you're making this you kind of want to use this middle stem so we've ripped off the leaves here and you really want to use this middle part so we're going to chop the celery and we're going to say between five and seven centimeters but we'll give it a bit of a trim later on now the little trick here if you do at home have a little paring knife you'll find that you'll need to make the celery flat so it doesn't rock about which is a bit tricky. So you only want to cut the, the thinnest pieces off the celery and make sure, do a test run. If it's not uh, standing flat now, it won't stand flat once all the other pieces are on it. So now for the shell of the snail, we are going to get an apple. And we're going to use the thickest part of the apple. Taking the core out. And we're going to have the apple sit on top. Just like that. And to give it a nice bed to sit on and when you're eating it something quite yummy, we are going to pipe in, for the first one, we're going to pipe in a little bit of peanut butter. This is natural peanut butter. So I do recommend that you keep it in the fridge. So there's about two generous teaspoons and we are just going to put that there and we're going to say, okay, so about that much. That will then sit on top. And we're going to cut off the excess wastage. And just to make this snail look a little bit more prettier, we're going to give it a bit more personality. We're just going to add two chocolate eyes. Now, I do understand if you've got a child with a nut allergy of some sort, please use the cream cheese instead of the natural peanut butter. And then we're just going to give it a couple of little antlers using some pretzels. And we are going to move on to we are going to move on to the cream cheese snail as well. So once again, we're going to try and get the better half of the um, celery here, and we're going to cut it down flat as best you can, so there's no rocking motion. We're going to pipe in our cream cheese. And the good thing about cream cheese is because it is so thick, you can actually give your snail a bit more of a, a propped up face. We'll add the eyes on. And we'll get the other half of the apple. have to make it a bit more thinner just so it sits up and there you have some snail treats so next up we'll be making some butterflies and we'll be using uh, grapes, an orange and just the rind of an apple. Um, now, so you don't use too much wastage, you could also use the apple that you used in the first uh, clip. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the stem of the butterfly and you kind of want to get a bunch of grapes that are very much the same size. So not a big one, not a little one. You want them to be all around about roughly the same size and we're just going to grab a few and we're gonna cut them down the center 
And that's for two reasons. One is obviously you don't want your children choking, but the second reason is if they're like this and they're on a plate, you can't really walk from the bench to the table with it. So we're gonna make this butterfly being able to be a bit more mobile. So we've got the stem there and now with the orange, you really wanna to get to the uh, middle of the orange. So the center and we're looking for a center cut and then just one cut again off either side. Roughly a centimeter thick would be great. We'll just do the same thing on this side. And now these are gonna be our wings. So here we have some wings. We're gonna cut them directly in half again through the middle. And if you can get it through the pith, that's great. And we're gonna turn them inside out and make them join up. So then that gives our butterflies a very realistic movement. And now just to give our butterflies some antlers, we're just gonna peel a bit of our apple here. And we're basically just gonna cut some parallel lines. And we're just gonna stick those two together. So there you have your butterfly. So next up we will be making some sushi uh, made out of uh, wraps. So we're gonna get our wrap. We're gonna do banana sushi and an avocado sushi. This is a really good afternoon snack for the kids. So we're just gonna grab our wrap and quick and easy for the parents too. We're just gonna get some peanut butter We're going to smear the peanut butter over. Now, just a tip with this one, you sort of want to use the smaller tortilla size wraps. Don't use the, the larger, bigger wraps because it's a lot harder to wrap around the banana. So we're going to get our banana here. And we're going to put it towards the end of the wrap um, hope with the curves facing the same way. And it's just the first roll that you need to be just a little bit, um, you know, uh, gentler with because you really do want to make sure so when you cut it that there are no holes in it, you can't see. Um, so then it does look as close to a sushi as possible. So we're going to just cut it now. We're going to cut off the, the end pieces. So we have neat little sushi rounds. There we go. Now, just to give you an idea, so the ends are actually where they won't hold up because the shape of the banana, but you will have a better hold up with the avocado version. You can get really creative with the ideas of, you know, um, tailor it to what your family like to eat and then everybody will enjoy it. We'll just add some Vegemite to the base of the wrap. And now we're gonna get our avocado. We're just gonna cut that. These are very ripe avocados we have here. And cut it open. Just gonna scoop out the middle parts. And just placing it on the end. Just get our knife. Even it out as much as possible. So it's nice and firm. And then we're just going to roll the avocado. We'll get our knife. And once again, we'll just slice it as easy, even, sorry, as possible. And then when we're putting them out on the plate, then you'll have some banana and uh, avocado sushi rolls.
So next up we're going to be making a snake sandwich. Um, so we're going to start off with a cucumber and this is going to be for the head and the tail part of the snake. So you don't actually use the middle but when you are buying a cucumber for this you really want to try to find one that's got a more pointy tail end and a more rounder sort of head at the start. So we're going to just, um, this will need tailoring a bit later on but we're just going to cut the head off now and that's what we're going to start with. So that's going to be our base. We'll come back to this cucumber and the reason why you need to do that first is because we're going to cut out our sandwiches but we sort of want to find something that's very uh, your cookie cutter needs to be something very similar in size so once you've picked your cookie cutter your um, cucumber is ready you will have your sandwiches here and now this is just basic ham cheese um, sandwiches and we are going to start cutting them out so Seeing how many we get here. And these are so much fun for the kids. When picking your bread too, you wanna to pick the, um, if you're going for a square loaf at Safeway and Coles, you want the bigger one rather than the small one. You just get more rounds out of it. That's, that's the only reason. And today the bread I've chosen is a uh, multi-grain with seeds in it, so, um, trying to go with the browner kind of snake skin look. Okay. So now we're going to start layering our snake together and you can in a way get quite creative in how you would like to make your snake roll around or have a twist and a turn in it if you like. There we go, cleaned up our chopping board a little bit and we'll do a couple more and then we'll go back around so it looks like a bit of a winding kind of snake there. And then we will bring back the cucumber that we had before and this is going to be the tail end. So we'll cut that off there. I'm gonna put the tail on. And now for the... Um, the face of the snake. We are going to get a little bit creative and we're gonna get one of these pieces of ham and we're gonna cut out a tongue using your paring knife again. So So we're going to give the, the snake just a little bit of a tongue. So we've given the, t the snake a little bit of a uh, tongue there, so it has a little bit of a hiss. And now we're going to give the snake some eyes just to give it a bit of life. Now we're just going to use, this is the skin, the rind of the apple. And we've just cut out two circles for the eyes to stick on there for the snake. And we've just, um, I've used the uh, end of a, um, a piping tip, so just cut it out, the little circle part, great cookie cutter there. Um, so there we have it, we have a sandwich snake. So next we're gonna be doing some um, apple donuts. So we're going to get this, any apple, um, any one that your kid likes the flavor of, we're gonna core, take out the core of it. Push that out and we're just going to um, make sure that there's no core in there and that everything's looking good. Um, we're going to get our uh, knife and we're just going to start slicing the apple to give the uh, shape and impression of donuts. So once you have your rounds you can place them on your plate. Grab your yogurt and we're just going to pop a bit of yogurt on there, spread it around with our knife. And this is a good one for when the kids are asking for, for a little treat or something a little bit sweeter. And again, you can change it up to whatever your family likes to eat. So if, uh, you know, there's a a nut butter that they quite like, you can put that on there with a little bit of honey or um, 
anything like that. So we're just going to put our donuts down. They've been iced. We're going to just put a few sprinkles on the top, make it interesting for the kids. Disguise the healthy apple underneath. We'll just get a few more on this one here. And there you go, you have apple rounds. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video today and I hope you really gained a lot and you can, you know, um, bring the kids into the kitchen and have some fun activities with them in the afternoons. For more videos, please head to the Melton City Council Learning Directory, your Facebook page or website. Thank you. Thank you.